They just found a what they call a daisy chained IED is where they connect each individual artillery round together. So when they initiate the explosion, all four blow up at one time. They had two 152 millimeter rounds and two 122 millimeter rounds. You know, casualty radius on one of those rounds is like 100 meters. If that's a pretty big explosion, if a vehicle was rolling by that and it went off, it would it would take out the whole vehicle easily. After the troops find a bomb, they blow it up. I don't have the dumb, I'm going to live forever uh, feeling or mentality like I had last year, you know. This is Lance Corporal Damon Broussard's second Iraq deployment. Last year I was like, ah, you know, just standing up in the turret, riding around, IEDs blowing up all over and still, you know, not caring. And this year, you know, I'm about to get married and, you know, I got a little, little more to look forward to. So I kind of ride a little lower in the turret, you know, make sure, make sure. I don't give them that one chance to, you know, keep you from going home this time. It's Washington's policy to transfer the bulk of fighting from U.S. forces to Iraqi forces like these. But that's barely started to happen here. Yes. These Iraqi soldiers aren't trained or equipped well enough to operate without U.S. forces and there's no police force in heat. That means these young Marines are the law. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Remember the sniper attack? After the gunfire died down, the Marines rounded up a half dozen men, suspects. Hey, hold you. Shut up. Shut your mouth. These two men were working in a welding shop nearby. The Marines tested each man for gunpowder residue. There's not a trace on any of them. So they're being released. Huh? His ID? Yeah. Where's his ID? It's another uncomfortable moment for these Iraqi men as they wait for the Marines to return their ID cards and dismiss them. They're free to go, but they've been shamed in their own neighborhood, their powerlessness displayed publicly. The Marines enter Iraqi homes without warrants to search for any they consider threatening or suspicious. What at first seems a threat often isn't. This man had a single weapon in his home. He was allowed to keep it under a regulation that permits each household to have one rifle for self-defense. At another house, Marines and Iraqi soldiers find neatly wrapped bags of gunpowder. They tie the owner's hands and question him through a translator. His story? He uses the gunpowder to fish, a dangerous but not uncommon method of angling in Iraq. The Marines release him. Until next time. When Marines do find something suspicious, hidden weapons or ammunition, they round up the nearest military age males, or MAMs in Marine speak, for questioning. This man and his young son were fishing, just as Marines unearthed the pile of weapons yards away. Both were detained <laughs> and then released. While the Marines suffer from a shortage of reliable intelligence, enemy forces often know when they're coming. But today, they didn't. The Marines moved under cover of rain. Let's go! Move up! Move up! The BLT's Bravo Company surprised a group of armed men in a farmhouse outside of Heat during an operation called Smoke Wagon. I ran about maybe five meters, five, ten meters, you know, without no cover. I had to get the staff sergeant. Rounds coming behind. I heard them too. I heard them go in my head. Yes. <laughs> the scariest moment in my life. The Marines say one man had live explosives strapped to his chest. They killed three of the men in a short firefight, but several others ran, possibly into a canal choked with reeds. So the Marines did something I found startling. It's a tactic called recon by fire. They aim their weapons into the canal and start shooting. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
the logic behind Recon by Fire? It's better to fire a bullet blindly than send a Marine into harm's way. But sometimes Marine bullets hit innocent Iraqis. Last year I filed requests for official Marine Corps reports on incidents like these that occurred during the 2004-2005 deployment to Iraq. In one, Marines attached to the battalion's parent unit shot and killed a six-year-old boy who they mistook for an enemy. In another, a Lance Corporal says he fired a warning shot into the road in front of an oncoming van. The bullet ricocheted into the vehicle and struck four of its occupants, the report says, killing two. None of the reports contain direct testimony from Iraqis. Marines from BLT-12 described similar incidents to me, but the Corps did not release reports on them. In that recon by fire, Marines killed one more suspected insurgent in the canal. They detained two other men and a 16-year-old boy.